am Zayo, and welcome back to another episode of Mod Corner. Today's modification will be Metal Fight Beyblade with MagnaCore system. Now if some of you Metal Fight Beyblade fans are watching this, and you don't know what this little red guy in the center here is, it is a magnet from the MagnaCore system. It's supposed to go into your tray, or your stadium. I'll show it right here. There's also one from Takara, but this modification only works with the Hasbro one for its tray. So yes, these guys would go right in those little holes, and then you can basically set up your own pattern depending on what your opponent will accept, or you would both agree to the patterns. So what you're going to be needing for this modification is really only two things. You'll need the stadium, tray, and the magnets. Now. I've already measured these guys out for you guys, so I'll leave a link down in the description for you guys to go ahead and buy them if you want. They're around $10, we'll give you about 40 of these uh, for each size, because these ones, this one's around 1 16th, and these guys are 3 16th for thickness. Now, if you're going to use it on a low track combination or combo, you're going to use the smaller ones. If you use a bigger one, like let's say 230 track or something high like 145, you would mostly want to use the beefier ones here, just to give you guys kind of an idea. So again, 3 16th and 1 16th. And that diameter is 5 16th of an inch. Now for the two blades that I'll be putting them in are attack and defense. I'm not going to do stamina because stamina doesn't really need magnets. It'll most likely just be a test subject in this video. Okay, so the first one we'll start out with is defense type. So you don't have to take anything off, all you have to do is go straight to the tip and untwist it like this. Set that aside, take your small little magnet and you'll find get the little red one here for your tray will attract, right? So the attract is what you want for defense types. Repel is for attack types. But you can always, you know, experiment with combos. So we'll only be using one, mainly because it's so close to the ground. We'll have the attract there. So what you want to do is take this guy here, and oh, that's interesting. It already attracted because of the metal face. Interesting. Cool. Okay. So, now that we have that in there, that actually makes it easy for us. You could probably fit another one in there. Let me try that. See if that will work. Okay. And no. As you can see here, it's too big. It's just over it. Which actually, let's try that. Nope. So that won't work. So we're back to one, one, one magnet. So put it on, there we go, and you're all set. Okay, so now we're onto the attack type here. So we'll just take off the tip here, set that aside, do the same thing, and this time, make sure it repels. This is actually kind of a little harder to do it wants to push it off. So find it where it's pushing it away from you. So take the attack type, put it right in there. Now one way to check it is put your finger over it, put the magnet here, and if it's repelling it, not attracting like that, if it's doing that, then it's good. Put this back on. And there we go, we're all set. So now let's get to a test battle here, and I'll also show you what I did to the magnet tray for Hasbro. And we are back guys, I am excited about this modification here. This looks awesome. The whole BB-10 over this tray and stuff. I actually painted this one here. This is the original one, what it looks like, blue kind. So for this modification, you're going to have to kind of snip off the sides and stuff. As you can see here, it kind of 
snip off these two pieces here or just snip this off all around all three parts and then also you might want to take down the side on the bottom here right here you want to kind of cut a little bit of strips here take it down to about this much that way it, it kind of goes over it more so yeah but yeah, I've, I've done this off camera. I've been actually working on this for quite a while now. I've been spray painting it. What I might do is make the little tiny uh, dips here all red. It'll look cool afterwards, I'm pretty sure. So let's put this back, guy back on there. And I changed the attack combo to make it higher and I added a small attack combo that I want to show you guys. This one here, which is, let's go a little closer, okay. So I put rubber 145 and then put an R2F on there and actually have a bigger magnet inside. I can take it off here. Yeah, I put the bigger magnet in there. So again, make sure that it's attract. Okay, put that back on. And then I have another one here, screw. Kind of an attack combo. And I put the smaller one in there. Okay, so let's get on to this test battle here that we've been waiting for. So here we go. Three, two, one. A little warm up there. Stamina combo takes the win. Again, three, two, one. Out of there. Again, three, two, one. Okay, so now let's try a triangular pattern here with a heavier attack combo against the stamina type. Here we go. Three, two, one. And KO. Okay, again. Three, two, one. Okay, so now let's try the defense combo here. He's putting it up against the small attack combo first, or the low track one. Here we go. Three, two, one. And defense combo takes it. Three, two, one. kind of like that there. He's going around in circles and then the magnets, or the, sorry, the magnets actually made it go back into a flower pattern. That was cool. Okay, for our last test battle here, we'll be using a higher tracked Beyblade, basically Flame Bixis. I mean, not the same parts, but you know, it's very similar. And we're using two big magnets. I'll show you guys right here. Two of them. And we'll put it up against the big beefy attack combo, the graphic one. So here we go. Three, two, one. Out. Again, three, two, one. Whoa! It's like lightning fast reflexes there. <laughs> Just KOs itself. <laughs> and 
And we are at the end of the video, guys. Thank you for watching, guys. This was just a blast to do. I had such a fun time with this modification. It was just, it brought back good memories on top of that. And honestly, I think you guys could use this as a metagame. Like a certain version of standard format or limited format. Like a special event. Set up all the stuff and everything. If you have the parts and you modify this of the Hasbro tray and stuff and put it on top of and put a BB-10 on top and then have a couple of Madniks and then have the D-090 Madniks inside the tracks. You guys will have a blast with this. This is just fun. Honestly, the most work that you're going to have to do with this modification is modify the stadium. But as I said before, all you have to do is cut off the ends where the pockets go and it'll fit right underneath a BB-10. And if it's a little too high, BB-10, just snip off the bottom a little bit and you're good. What I will also be doing too is in the future, if you guys request Metal Fight Beyblade battles and I actually might do some stock ones in the future, is, especially the stock ones, I'll be using this setup here with the magnetic stadium tray. Because Again, I feel like, why should I put out a stock battle that pretty much everyone else has put out on YouTube when I can actually put in magnets to the gameplay? It is going to be sweet. So leave a comment down in the comment section of what do you guys think of this modification. And which type did you like with the magnets? Defense or attack? And don't forget to leave a like and subscribe. So this is Blader Zio signing out, and I'll see you guys next time.